Ensuring you know how to use crutches properly before your surgery will make the transition home easier. Today we're going to cover the use of crutches on flat ground, while climbing stairs, and the use of one crutch. The first thing to consider is that the crutches are adjusted to the appropriate height. The axillary pad should be a few fingers away from the armpit in standing. And the handle should line up with the crease between your hand and forearm. Your weight should be on the handles, not the axillary pads. And the crutches are advanced together. The strong leg steps past the crutches and the cycle repeats. When your surgeon says you're ready for partial or toe touch weight bearing, you're ready to put the surgical leg on the ground. The crutches always move with the surgical leg in order to reduce the amount of weight the surgical limb must bear. All three points of contact move forward, both crutches and the injured leg. Then the strong side steps through. This cycle repeats itself. When negotiating stairs, a common phrase taught to patients is, the good leg leads to heaven and the bad leg leads to hell. This means that when climbing stairs, the good leg goes first, and when descending stairs, the bad leg goes first. As always, the crutches move with the injured limb. Start by putting the strong leg on the first stair. Step onto the strong leg and bring the crutches and injured limb up to meet it. This cycle simply repeats until you reach the top of the staircase. When there's a railing available, you may wish to take advantage of it. To do this, simply put both crutches under the opposite arm. The crutch still moves with the injured limb and the railing can be used for additional support. Begin by standing on the strong leg and lowering the crutches and injured limb to the stair. Once you have the crutches firmly planted on the lower stair, you can move the strong leg down to meet them. This cycle repeats until you are at the bottom of the stairs. Always keep stairs and hallways in your home free from clutter. You may need to widen spaces between furniture. When you sit down, keep your crutches within arm's reach. Do your best to keep the floor clean and dry to ensure good traction. And if possible, practice all of these skills before your surgery. Your therapy of physiotherapist will be happy to review these skills with you to ensure you're safe using crutches in your home. Go to therapia.com to learn more.